Say you have a rocket with a pointy nose cone and you need to round it off so that it looks more scale-like, like on this X-15 rocket. How do you do that? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to show you how to round off a nose cone like on this X-15. Now why would you want to do that when a pointy nose cone looks so cool? Well, some rockets like this one in actual real life have a rounded off nose cone. Um, here is a picture of an X-15 hanging at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington. And you can see that it has a rounded nose cone. And so on our model, we need to round off that nose cone. So how do you do that? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. Now, first, these nose cones are hollow. So if you started rounding it off, you would actually get into the hollow part of the nose cone. So what we need to do is to fill that area at the tip with epoxy, and then we can round it off. So how do you do that? So first, you have a hole here in the back of the nose cone. And we need to enlarge that hole so that we can drop epoxy in. And what I'm going to use is clay epoxy because this hardens really fast. You can use liquid epoxy, and liquid epoxy has the advantage of you can get it into a smaller hole. But even still, on this particular rocket, I would kind of um, make that hole larger. Um, so, um, I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and I'm going to carve, using the X-Acto knife, that hole and I need to make it big enough so I can get my dowel through it. So, I'm going to start carving away at that hole. It's going to take a little time, but you just have to go around in circles. Now, I'm going to stay away from this area right here because I don't want to lose a lot of strength. So when I enlarge the hole, I want to make it kind of off-center a little bit. Okay, so now it's big enough for my dowel to go through. So all this stuff inside um, you can either shake it out, or when you put the epoxy in, you'll, you'll grab it and put it at the tip. Um, I'm using the Bond-Aid epoxy. Uh, we sell this here at Apogee. It's a, it's a clay epoxy, and you can see it's two parts, um, and it's got this plastic liner on it um, to keep it from going bad over time. This lasts a long time, so I've, I've had this stick. It's probably close to two years old now and it's still in good shape. Um, so to, to activate it, you have to knead it together. And when I do that, I use rubber gloves. I want to keep the epoxy off my hands as much as possible. Okay, so... So I'm gonna peel that off and then just start flattening it and folding it and just kind of knead it together until it's one solid color. You can see it's got these marble striations in it as I'm going along. So I'm going to do this for a couple of minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've kneaded the epoxy and you can see it's one color again. I'm going to tear off a little chunk. This is going to be my witness epoxy so when I know what this is hard, what's inside the nose cone is also hard. So I'm just going to put that off to the side. Um, and I'm going to just start breaking off chunks. And I don't really need all this epoxy. Um, sometimes you need a little extra nose weight anyway, and this is a, a good way to add nose weight. So you're actually getting a double video here, how to add nose weight to, an, to a, a nose cone and how to round it off. So you drop it in there, and then we're going to smash it down to the tip using the dowel. OK. 
Okay, so now I'm going to take the dowel and just keep it down and let gravity help you. And just start smashing it down. inside to see if you got it nice and I try to get it nice and flat along the top that way I know it's it's even so I'm guessing I'm filled up about that much which is plenty for this rocket okay you can't see on the inside but it's pretty flat on the top um, so now um, this bond aid um, it takes five minutes to get hard um, so I'm gonna wait five minutes and then I'll come back and then we'll finish this off. Okay, I'm back. Um, my epoxy is hard. So that means I know that it's hard on the inside here. So our next step is to decide where we're gonna round off. Now, if you're not sure, what I would suggest is taking some sandpaper and a sanding tee and just start rounding it off. Um, if you know you got to round off a lot, then it's probably easier to cut off the tip with a razor saw. Uh, and this will make sanding a little bit faster. Um, so I'm just going to go around here with the razor saw, cut off the tip. Okay, I cut off the tip. Um, and now I'll just start rounding off. And as I'm rounding it off, I'm rotating the nose cone with my fingers and then going around like this. Uh, and that makes it go a little bit faster. And you can see the result is looking pretty good. Um, and then you might want to switch to some fine sandpaper. Um, and then I just do it by hand, and this allows you to control it a little bit better. That looks pretty good, and I can see a little bit of color change in the inside, which means that I actually did get into the epoxy. Um, so that is the technique on rounding off the tip of a nose cone. My name is Tim Van Milligan. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and uh, subscribe or click on the thumbs up sign. Um, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave those down there at the bottom. Um, if you're at the Apogee website, uh, use the contact us button at the top of the page. Uh, again, thanks for watching. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.